small Pentecostal church. To tell the truth, I was born on Saturday and in church on Sunday, and I guarantee you I was never late because Mom was the organ player and the Sunday school teacher while I took up the offering. They would always make me give it back. And as a child, I had the honor of sitting in the front row for the first five minutes of every sermon. That's usually how long it took to be called up to the platform for the express purpose of keeping me from escaping under the pews. And there I would sit behind the pulpit, count ceiling tiles for the next hour and a half. But like most people over the years, I got used to the pressure of saying and doing all the right things, whether I believed them or not, because if I didn't, I had the largest gathering of elderly ladies ever to act upon their moral obligation to report everything I ever said or did so you can understand why I love going to the youth conventions because it proved beyond the shadow of a doubt there were girls going to church that were under 65 years of age. Suddenly there she was, fourth row back on the left in the choir, the absolute dream of every kid ever to seek permission to borrow the family car. Mr. Bailey has a daughter, hoping she'll notice me. Got me singing in the choir, volunteering my time for free. Now I'm praying for revival, you're working at living right. Man, I never looked more sanctified at church on Sunday night. Ah, now it's amazing what'll turn your life around in a hurry. Overnight, I'd come to realize what it meant, wrong or right, to be motivated. I was captivated. I was serious. I was hearing voices, man. And all the things I'd been doing for years suddenly took on a whole new significance. You see, now I was out to please someone besides myself. I was convinced she was an angel from heaven. Who knows, she might have been. She disappeared fast enough. But look who's still here trying to do all the right things. Y'all, maybe, and even sometimes for the right reasons, break it down. From the hearts of beggars, now sing. From the hearts of beggars to the hearts of kings. The hearts of beggars to the hearts of kings. The hearts are greatest of deceitful things. Expose what's wicked in the minds of men. You can count to 20 and it's back again. Mr. Bailey has a daughter. Me. Got me singing in the choir, volunteering my time for free. Now I'm praying for revival, I'm working at living right. Man, I never looked more sanctified in church on Sunday night. Yeah. Mr. Bailey has a daughter, I hope that you'll notice me. Got me singing in the choir, volunteering my time for free. Now I'm praying for revival, I'm working at living Motive has another ulterior check your wife when you're feeling superior. The baby has a daughter, hoping she'll notice me. Got me singing in the choir, volunteering my time for free. Now I'm praying for revival, working at living right. Man, I'm look more sanctified in church on Sunday night. Let's sing it. Mr. Bailey has a daughter, hoping she'll notice me. Thank you very much. Good night. No way. You're not going anywhere. I think Brian Duncan is proof that a what? Can you tell us exactly what song came off of that album? What it, what's the album and the new thing? And just uh, let us know what's going on with Brian Duncan. You haven't been with us in a while. I know I haven't, have I? I well, your videos I'm have, but you haven't in person. I've. Uh, th that's a little storybook song called Mr. Bailey's Daughter, and. Uh, it's on a new album that just came out a couple of weeks ago. It's called The Anonymous Confessions of a Lunatic Friend. Oh! <laughs> Available at all bookstores, I'm sure. Or you can drop by my house. I'll sell it for you. <laughs> I'll sell it to you for twice the price. <laughs> Did you know we have even the same color eyes? It which is, is true. yeah. You I'm don't sure care there's about a, that. You know, probably <laughs> chief chief white cloud in you know in our past <laughs> is probably you know we're related somewhere down the line in the white cloud situation <laughs> there is another group of white clouds and uh they're gonna do this <laughs> have you ever heard of dc <laughs> dc talk <laughs> have you ever heard of a song called heaven bound <laughs> it